So, Mr. Vice Minister, are you concerned at all that industrial chains may leave China? And if I may add, what are the advantages that make China's industrial and supply chains so resilient? Some people say that the pandemic is a wake-up call for foreign invested enterprises in China. Maybe it's time to move out. I'm not very much worried about it, frankly speaking, because of all the foreign invested enterprises in China, about 91% of them are focusing on China domestic market. 9% of them are export oriented. As we all know, the Chinese domestic market is expanding, growing very fast. Definitely, the FIEs focusing on China's domestic market will expand further their supply chains in China. With regard to those export oriented FIEs, I personally think and I am pretty confident that China remains a very competitive supply chain location because there are few countries in the world that can match China where you can find almost everything you need to build something. China has a broad spectrum of strong upstream suppliers and downstream clients making supply chains in China reliable and less vulnerable to disruptions. China also enjoys the advantages of the economies of scale and the competitive labor cost, which makes supply chains in China scalable, extendable and very cost effective. In addition, in terms of logistics, which is critical to the safety of supply chain. China is well connected to the rest of the world by rail, by air, and by sea. I can give you some examples. Apple has a number of production facilities in China for making iPhones. Its supply chain in China has been very resilient, experiencing only a few hiccups during the outbreak. And Another example is Tesla Shanghai. It has been running quite well with only a few days of downtime caused by the outbreak of the coronavirus. China has a good environment to sustain these supply chains in our country. Nonetheless, President Xi Jinping at the extraordinary G20 leaders meeting emphasized the importance of maintaining a global industrial and supply chains. The G20 trade ministers meeting also pledged to promote open and resilient supply chains. So we are working with colleagues from other economies to deliver on those commitments.